Sky Tour News for February 11th. I'm Amanda Curran. Today in 1952, Collier Issues, Man Will Conquer Space Soon. Collier's Magazine first published papers from the first symposium on space flight under the title Man Will Conquer Space Soon, detailing Werner von Braun's plans for manned space flight. Individual articles were authored by such space notables of the time, such as Willie Lay, Fred Lawrence Whipple, and von Braun himself, and contain some of the finest magazine illustrators of the time. The article series was the basis for three episodes in the Disneyland anthology series Man in Space, Man in the Moon, and Mars and Beyond, and the series was expanded into three books, Across the Space Frontier in 1952, Conquest of the Moon in 1953, and The Exploration of Mars in 1956. Today in 1992, the JERS-1 was launched. The Japanese Research Satellite 1 was sent into orbit to verify functions and performance of optical sensors. It carried with it an L-band, HH polarization, synthetic aperture radar, a nadar pointing optical camera, and a side-looking optical camera. It established an integrated system for observing the Earth's resources, to perform observations and measurements for land survey and agricultural as well as environmental preservations, disaster prevention, and coastal surveillance. The satellite operated until 1998 and re-entered the Earth's atmosphere in 2001. Today in 1995, Discovery returns home. After completing its 12th flight to space, Discovery returns from a rendezvous with the Mir space station. Once described as a dance in the cosmos, Discovery closed the 4,000-mile gap to 400 feet, getting as close as 35 feet to the station in a dress rehearsal for future missions before it returned home. In addition to testing the systems and techniques required to rendezvous with Mir, the crew was also able to retrieve the Spartan 204 satellite, which obtained data on UV light that reflected off the shuttle and into space. This is Sky Tour News. I'm Amanda.